Okay, so let's go and take a look at here um, and to identify to see if we have the um, midpoint. So what we have is we have a line segment um, and we have this point that looks like it's a midpoint, right? It looks like it's in the middle, but it doesn't tell us it's, the, it's a midpoint. So we do not want to assume that it is a midpoint. Um, we have two expressions. We have from A to M is 7x plus 8 and from M to B is going to be a 9x minus 8. So it says if AB is 128 centimeters, show M is the midpoint of AB. So how are we going to show something is in the middle, right? It looks like it's in the middle, but how are we going to show that it's um, mathematically has to be in the middle? So we have to go back and again think about what is our definition of our midpoint. The definition of our midpoint um, is that they are, um, the definition of our midpoint is that it is going to be exactly in the middle. That is going to be both sides are going to be um, equal in measure. So what that means is AM is going to be equal to MB. If we know that AM is equal to MB, then we know M has to be exactly in the middle. So how are we going to figure out if they are equal or not? Well, we got to find X. Now, we don't know enough value to solve for X. So what we need to do is to say, well, we know that this plus this equals AB. And if AB is 128, I can now use the segment addition postulate. So I can say 7X plus 8 plus 9X minus 8 equals 128 centimeters, right? And now let's go and find x. So I'm going to combine like terms. 7x plus 9, 9x is 16x. 8 minus 8 is 0, so it equals 128. Now I'll just divide by 16, OK? Um, and then we go 16 divides into 8. Let's see. Um, 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 6 is 48. So x equals 8. OK? Now again, that still has not shown us anything. That just tells us what the value of x is. We just solve for x, an algebra problem. We want to make sure to show that this is the midpoint, we need to show that this is equal to that. So to do that, I'm going to say, all right, let's find the length of AM. So is AM, that's going to be 7x plus 8. Right? So now I'm going to plug in 8. Right? That's that value. That becomes 56 plus 8, which is 64. Then let's show MB. And B has expression 9x minus 8. Plug in the 8. 9 times 8 is going to be 72 minus 8. And that's going to also equal 64. So now you guys can see that they both are equal to each other. So since AM is equal to MB, M is the midpoint of AB. And there you go. So we can show by showing that those equal lengths to either side of M, of the mid of this point, to either endpoints, since those are the same, we can confirm that that is indeed the midpoint.